Jeff Platt here for PokerNews.com covering the Poker Stars Caribbean adventure. So Jennifer Shahadi gave away a platinum pass via the My Chess Poker Challenge. This man, Warren Sheaves, the winner of that challenge, came up with Chess Draw. Tell us a little bit about coming up with that game. Well, um, I just kind of combined a few games and had a few additional rule changes myself. Um, basically, you just play chess normally, mm -hmm. and each time you take a piece, you collect cards. Um, you get one for a pawn, three for a knight and a bishop, four for a rook, and five for a queen. And you can once you, if you have more than seven cards, you have to discard down to seven. But you're just trying to make a poker hand. If you make a poker hand straight or better, you can choose to end the game. But if your opponent has a stronger hand, you lose double. And you get certain points for each hand. Um, it's sort of like pineapple Chinese sure. in, in yeah. that aspect. Um, but at the beginning of the game. Um, it's mostly just chess, and then the poker comes in quick once pieces start going down. Um, also, we use the doubling cube from Batgammon. Um, so it can be a very good game for gamblers, especially if they're somewhat even on the chess uh, board. Got it. And, and I watched your video, and I just listened to that explanation. Do you feel like being able to explain a game like that in such a tight, concise manner helped you stand out in this I challenge? Honestly, I honestly think there were some amazing, great ideas, yeah. some really cool games, but I could explain mine in three minutes, and I think that that was the reason I won. I tell, us, tell us about the moment you found out that you did win. <laughs> I was hanging out with my buddy, Scott Stewart. Uh, he had a messed up ankle, maybe from drinking injuries the night before. Maybe. <laughs> And he, he, she announced uh, each person that, you know, sixth, fifth, after each game, yeah. after each chess game. And so when they got down to two, they, she announced second place, and it wasn't me, so we knew it was me. And he just starts jumping up and down on this <laughs> horrible ankle, and we're, like, so excited. And then I'm like, shouldn't you be, like, not jumping on that? Right. <laughs> but it was, uh, it, was a exciting, it was an exciting day for me, for sure. So it's early on, but what's it like firing this tournament? Uh, it's definitely my first 25K, uh, but I think I would have done whatever I possibly could to play this had I not win it. Um, it's just an amazing opportunity with this many people and so many seats given away that I wouldn't miss this for the world, and winning the seat was amazing. I'm hoping to collect them all. So you took down the WSOP Global Casino Championship. Yes. We saw you on Friday Night Poker, cheap plug. Um, we are seeing you here. Do you feel like you've gained a lot of poker momentum in this last year or so? Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like I've gained a little bit of momentum. I mean, I've, I don't know that I'm necessarily any stronger than I was a year ago, but things are falling into place a little bit more for me. Um, but yeah, as far as fame and fortune, I have gained a little momentum for sure. All right. Best of luck today, okay? Yep. Thank you so much. All right, you got it. That's Warren Cheese. I'm Jeff Platt for PokerNews.com.